Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. I find myself in London because I'm doing a video shoot for my other channel. Um, depending on the flow of my videos, I'll put a link here so that if you're interested in the Beatles, you can see what video I'm recording. Um, but because I'm doing drives to different locations, I thought maybe it might be worth just doing some little jaunts between each of those video locations but before i get to the first location we can start with the first drive so i'm going to drive from the elephant and castle to parliament square so we start here well not here but yes here <laughs> i'm going to drive along the old kent road till i get to the um Elephant and Castle, then I shall take the road that goes past the Imperial War Museum, comes out over Westminster Bridge, so we'll see Big Ben. Should be good. That always happens. The lights change and then people walk in front of you. Now, I wouldn't say I'm unfamiliar with London. I've done a lot of driving in London, so I kind of know my way around. I don't have sat nav on, I just know where I'm going. However, the road systems do tend to change. So, where I might be driving in this lane, I don't know if they've changed the priority, and I should be in the right-hand lane, so I'm gonna to have to keep my eyes peeled for line markings or lane markings. Because I want to go left here. So that's one of my considerations keep my observation open for lanes then it oh and we're in a 20 zone by the way because London is a 20 zone um, what was I going to say because I'm not sure well I think I know I'm in the right lane I might have to change lanes quite quickly and I think that goes for other drivers as well that they're all in a given lane and they suddenly think oh no I need to be in the other lane and so they'll swap over so it's a bit of give and take. It's funny driving at 20. 20 is plenty. But I tell you what, it does ease the congestion, doesn't it? The bus is coming out because there's a cycle in the cycle lane, or the bus lane. There's a guy coming right up behind me, but I'm, I don't care. I'm not gonna get a ticket for being too fast in a 20 zone on my license. This is built up. All the new flats and everything. Yeah, so when you're driving 20, it does tend to keep the traffic flowing. Isn't that strange? You feel like you should be getting there quicker, but I'll tell you what, if you um, try and drive quicker, you end up getting stuck in traffic. I think I need to cross over the um, roundabout here and go straight across. This is the Elephant and Castle, very famous subway. is a lot of traffic lines, but I can edit that bit out, can't I? Waterloo. How does it feel now you won the war? Last lane ahead, so I'll get in this lane. Bus lane is for buses, taxis, motorcycles, bicycles at all times. Don't be fooled into thinking, oh, I can get in there, you know, in the morning. If it says at all times, do not go in that bus lane. They've got hidden cameras everywhere. And you get a ticket. I want to go left at the... I don't want to go left. This is the Imperial War Museum on the left.
thought I wanted to go left here, but my instinct tells me go straight ahead. I'm going to cross onto the section because it's blocked. I wonder how many places I'll drive over the next couple of videos that I'm doing that you'll recognise some of the landmarks. It's like a little tour of London. tell you we were on a one-way system. <laughs> I probably flashed it on the screen. Two-way traffic now. I'll try and read out the road signs but if I don't read them out at least I'll put them on the screen. Westminster and Waterloo. circular, it used to be a one way roundabout all the way round and I want Westminster Bridge, here we go landmark location number one on my London drives see if you can spot it <laughs> be hard to miss I promise you there it is Queen Elizabeth Tower I think that's what they renamed it, isn't it? Big Ben being the bell on the inside. Not sure what the bus is doing. Ultra low speed. <laughs> bus lane and two way. Look, all the pedestrians and the tourists and the rain. <laughs> you can spy the um, tour guides because they're holding up their umbrellas. Big Ben, whoo, Parliament Square ahead. I think what I might do is a complete circuit of Parliament Square and then wrap the video up somewhere near Westminster Abbey. Lights are green, but it's going slow. I don't want to get caught. Lots of traffic lights, I'm afraid, but I can edit that out. So it's seamless, kind of seamless. So by taking a complete circuit, you'll get to see the Houses of Parliament, Westminster Abbey, and the Parliament Square. Well, that made me jump, there was a beep. I thought there was something on my right. Gosh, you see this square so many times in movies and TV shows where the main protagonist is having to navigate London and they'll take them through this area. Big Ben from this side. It's 
exciting times. And then you'll see the Houses of Parliament as I drive round to the right. Then we'll cut right again, go past Westminster Abbey and end the video. I think I heard bagpipes. So there's the Houses of Parliament. Oliver Cromwell statue. I don't know if the video's picking it up, but it is there. Ironically, just opposite um, Oliver Cromwell's statue, on the edge of Westminster Abbey, is a bust of King Charles I. And they're looking directly at each other. Who planned that? So we'll take the left hand lane, then we'll turn right at the Queen Elizabeth centre, is it QE2 centre, on the right there, where Mike Oldfield performed tubular bells for the very first time, and he was bricking it, he didn't want to do it, because, you know, some people are not very good, and um, Richard Branson had apparently said, here's the keys to my car, you do the concert, you can have the keys to my car, so he did the concert, so you can find it on YouTube, very interesting, um, tubular bells concert. Anyway, let's go up here and end the video quickly. See, I told you it was all different. You used to be able to drive out here, but it's now a dead end. So you can't go out, no entry. Single yellows, so I can stop for a moment. So there you go, that was Elephant Castle to Parliament Square in London. I'm going to do a bit of driving in London today, so I am going to record some videos. I don't know how many, um, but stay tuned if you fancy following my London drive adventures. I might actually do a playlist as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, bearing with. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Drive with care.